Films really started to blossom in the 1920s, expanding upon the foundation of films from earlier years. By the mid-20s, movies were a big business, with some theaters offering double features. By the end of the decade, there were 20 Hollywood studios because the demand for films was so great. Silent films were the predominant product of the film industry because of the inability to create sound and moving pictures. Even the earliest films were organized into genres such as swashbucklers, historical extravaganzas, and melodramas. There were five major film industries that popped up around the 1920s. Warner Bros. Pictures was incorporated in 1923 by Polish brothers Jack, Harry, Albert, and Sam. Adolf Zukor's Famous Players, 1912, and Jesse Lasky's Featured Plays merged in 1916 to form Famous Play Players Latsky Corporation, which later became known as Paramount Pictures. RKO, or Radio Keith Orpheum Pictures, was formed by RCA Keith Orpheum Theaters and the FBO Company. Lowe's Inc. was founded in 1916 by Richard A. Rowland and Louis B. Mayer. In 1918, Mayer left this partnership. 20th Century Fox was founded in February 1915 by New York Nickelodeon owner William Fox. As the popularity of moving pictures grew in the early part of the decade, movie places capable of seating thousands sprang up in major cities. A ticket for a double feature in a live show would cost only 25 cents. For a quarter, Americans could escape from their problems and lose themselves in another era or world. The silent movies of the early 1920s gave rise to the first generation of movie stars. No star captured the attention of the American viewing public more than Charlie Chaplin. Southern California in the 1920s, however, had only recently become the center of American film industry. Film production was originally based in and around New York, where Thomas Edison first debuted the kinetoscope in 1893. But in the 1910s, as major filmmakers like D.W. Griffith looked to escape the cost of Edison's patent on camera equipment, this began to change. Best known for being a comedian, Charles Chaplin was born in London and started his acting career at the young age of eight. He played in He's acted in many movies, but his most famous ones are The Kid and The Greatest Dictator, where he played a humorous caricature of Adolf Hitler. The Kid is a full-length feature that is a silent masterpiece about a little tramp who discovers a little orphan and brings him up, but is left desolate when the orphanage reclaims him. This is Chaplin's very first full-length movie. Janet Gaynor, most known for her dynamic duo with Charles Farrell, first appeared in the cinemas in Seventh Haven, a classic romantic melodrama. She and Charles played as a couple in 12 other films, such as America's Lovebirds and America's Sweetheart. For her role in Seventh Heaven, she received the very first Academy Award for Best Actress. Charles Spencer Chaplin was born in London April 16, 1886, and began his official acting career at the age of eight. <laughs> 